Good morning, Spinster Books fans. It is Saturday, a hot and muggy Saturday, but we have air conditioning here at the store. <laughs> uh, we're open from 12 to 6 today, as is our new norm, Fridays and Saturdays, 12 to 6. And then we'll decide on adding some more days a little later. But right now it's time for the 10-minute story hour. Today's story is Moomin and the Birthday Button. Let's see if we can get that all in there. The moon faded, the sun rose, and morning came to Moomin Valley. Snug in his bed in the Moomin house, Moomin Troll woke up. He yawned once, he stretched twice, and then he remembered. Pee-hoo, it's my birthday. Downstairs, Moomin Mama and Moomin Papa were having breakfast. They called out, Happy birthday, Moomin Troll. There was a card from Moomin Papa with a birthday poem he'd written and a beautiful gold button from Moomin Mama for his collection. Oh, it's so perfect and shiny, said Moomin. I'm going to show Snufkin right away. Snufkin was down by the river. He was busy making something out of wood. Moomin called out, Snufkin, look what I've got. But Snufkin didn't even look up. I'll look later, he mumbled. I'm really terribly busy right now. Moomin Troll was surprised. I'll go and show Snork Maiden instead, he thought. She won't be busy. On his way to find Snork Maiden, he bumped into Sniff, who seemed to be searching for something. Hello, Sniff, said Moomin. Look what I've got. But Sniff didn't look up either. Sorry, Moomin Troll, he said. Too busy. Can't stop. How odd that Sniff is busy, too, thought Moomin. But I know Snork Maiden will like my button, and he hurried on his way. Snork Maiden was at the beach collecting shells. She seemed to be having a lot of fun with Little Mai, who was draping herself with seaweed. Snork Maiden! Little Mai, look what I've got! But Snork Maiden didn't answer. She just went on looking for shells. Little Mai danced about and shouted, We're very busy, Moomin Troll, don't disturb us. Moomin couldn't believe his ears. Nobody wants to see my new button, he thought. And nobody has even said happy birthday. He stomped back through the woods, and by the time he reached home, he was nearly in tears. When Moomin Mama saw Moomin Troll, she knew at once that something was wrong. Nobody cares about my new button or my birthday, sniffed Moomin. They're all too busy, even Snork Maiden. Don't be sad, said Moomin Mama. I'm sure they didn't mean to be unkind. Now, let's get things ready for your birthday party. Moomin cheered up a little as he watched Moomin Mama decorate his birthday cake. But he was still cross. They're probably too busy to come, he said. I don't even care. But he did, really. Then all of a sudden he heard voices calling him. Moomin Troll, come outside. Come and look what we've got. Moomin Troll rushed to the door. And there were all his friends. Snork Maiden, Sniff, Little Mai, and Snufkin. Sniff was holding a present which was very badly wrapped in seaweed. This is for you, he said, from all of us. Moomin could have burst with happiness. They hadn't forgotten his birthday after all. He unwrapped the present and inside was a beautiful wooden treasure chest decorated with pebbles and shells. Snufkin made it, and I chose the shell, said Snork Maiden. The pebbles are my very favorite ones that I ever found, said Sniff. I nearly kept them for myself. And I wrapped it, said Little Mai. 
The sun set, the moon rose, and night fell over Moomin Valley. Moomin Troll and his friends sang birthday songs and danced until they were all tired out and ready for bed. Night, night, my little Moomin Troll, said Moomin Mama. Night, night, Mama, said Moomin. But before he closed his eyes, Moomin had one last peep at the shiny new button glinting in his very special treasure chest. Happy birthday, Moomin Troll, he whispered to himself, and he drifted off to sleep. That was Moomin and the birthday button. Which concludes today's session of the 10-minute story hour. So we hope you're all having a good day. It's supposed to be cold tomorrow, so you might want to get out today and do some stuff. Uh, whatever you're doing, have a good time. Be safe. And, and think of poor Miss Charlie here by herself. Okay, I'm here. And no one loving her. Okay, the customers all day long will love her. But, you know, she's so oppressed. Or so she tells me. Shall we go check on her? Let's take a little walk. Oh my goodness. So oppressed. Good morning, Miss Charlie. How are you? She's a good girl. Anyway, stop on down if you want to. We'll be here till 6 o'clock. Have a great day, everybody.